In this video, let us look at how we can implement semi-structured retrieval augmented generation with Langchain and OpenAI. So many documents contain a mixture of content types including text and tables. So conventional rack uh, may not work well with semi-structured data. Because text splitting, it can break up tables, corrupting the data and retrieval. Embedding tables also poses a challenge for semantic similarity search. So if you want to extract data from you know, documents which have a mix of tables and text, your conventional retrieval augmented generation may not work well. Okay. So I was looking for some kind of uh, you know rag based application for semi structured data which has both tabular data as well as text something like this document which is a paper on gemini so if you go over here there are certain tables which are present right so there is this table which talks about an overview of gemini 1.0 model family if you go further below there are some tables with numbers so suppose you want to develop a rag based application whereby you can pull in these numbers from tables okay so langchain has a cookbook right where it has various you know python notebooks for performing various tasks and one of them is this semi structured rag so what i've done today is that i've taken this semi structured rag notebook and i've adapted it to collab by making some small changes so how can you perform rag on documents with semi structured data okay so there is this library called unstructured which will be made use of to parse both text and tables from documents which are pdfs then there is this multi vector retriever which is used to store raw tables text along with table summaries better suited for retrieval and you have uh, lcl which is lang chain expression language to implement the chains used so that is the idea over here so you have documents from which tables are extracted, text is extracted. From these tables, a table summary is generated using the LLM, which is OpenAI GPT-4 over here. The text chunks are summarized using uh, again OpenAI GPT-4. These uh, summaries are then kind of converted into uh, your embeddings, right? And using a multi-vector retriever, you can um, extract either the table summary or text summary based on your query. So you can retrieve this raw tables and text and then give it to your LLM to get your answer. That is the idea over here. Okay. So let's go to our collab notebook uh, to get an understanding of you know each of these components, right? So as I said, this collab notebook is just I have just taken you know uh, this particular uh, cookbook python notebook and i've just converted it so that it becomes compatible to run with collab that's the whole idea over here okay uh, so first we need to install langchain and uh, structured pedantic all these libraries so that is what is being done over here okay then we need to install a couple of libraries for pdf partition uh, partitioning uh, used by unstructured which is tesseract for optical character recognition and there is this popular for pdf rendering and processing okay so for popular this is how you install it for tesseract this is how you install it apt install tesseract ocr and these things and you also interact by um, you install pi tesseract which is your wrapper for tesseract ocr okay now why is ocr required over here sometimes pdfs uh, will have images and you cannot actually uh, parse it properly Right? That is why uh, this particular library unstructured internally makes use of Tesseract okay? uh, to do OCR on your uh, PDF files. Right? Your PDF file could be a mix of text and images. Okay? You also require NLTK which is in turn used by unstructured library. Okay? So unstructured library is a library which uh, helps with parsing of different uh, difficult to use formats like HTML, PDF, CSV, PNG, PPTX. So this particular framework effectively extracts and transforms complex data for use with every major vector database and LLM framework. That's the idea. Okay. And what is multi-vector retriever? Multi-vector retriever, uh, you know, it helps to create multiple vectors per document, uh, which can include smaller chunks. Uh, you can split a document into smaller chunks and embed those. 
you can create a summary for each document embed those or you can have some kind of hypothetical questions which for each document so multi vector retriever uh, it is uh, you know uh, beneficial to store multiple vectors per document okay that is where this multi vector retriever helps um so there is this notebook which explains how to do it so you can look into this as well right going back to the code over here so i have to install nltk as well right then uh, you know uh, the original cookbook notebook was on the llama 2 paper but here i am trying it with a gemini paper so this is a gemini paper from uh, google right so okay so first i set the path of the content so basically i have uploaded this paper over here right uh, and then what we do is that we actually uh, over here uh, with this particular piece of code we actually are partitioning the pdf so this is the place where unstructured uh, library tries to find uh, image blocks right it uses layout model to get bounding boxes for the tables and find titles or subsection of the document then it does post processing so basically here is where it tries to actually parse your pdf document okay it tries to identify document sections like introduction then it builds text blocks that maintain sections while also honoring the user defined chunk sizes okay so unstructured uses partition pdf which segments a pdf document by using a layout model the layout model makes it possible to extract elements such as tables from pdf that is the idea over here okay so once you get the raw pdf elements from your so the change which i have made over here is that we need to install tesseract and we also need to specify the path for pytesseract over here like this okay for the tesseract command you need to specify the path otherwise this fails okay so once you do this we can get the elements which are present over here uh, you know in the partition pdf we can examine them so if you look at over here when you examine it says there are composite elements which is 55 and unstructured uh, you know basically tables are 16 tables are present in this document okay composite elements are aggregated chunks of text okay so again you can look at it and say uh, it prints out the number of table elements 66 text elements so here you are splitting the table elements and text elements you are extracting separately table elements as well as text elements from you are document okay using this unstructured library okay so once you do this then you can uh, use this multi vector retriever to produce summaries of tables and optionally text okay with the summary we will also store the raw table elements the summaries are used to improve the quality of retrieval that is the idea over here the raw tables are passed to the llm providing the full table context for the llm to generate the answer so the idea is that if you have a table like this present over here right okay or a table like this right so the idea is that you create a summary of this table okay by passing this context to an llm which is open ai gpt4 over here you also store this table in its raw form and when a query comes you retrieve based on the similarity you retrieve that this information is present in the table and you pass this raw uh, table to the llm so that it can extract the particular response which is required okay it can generate the particular response which is required that is the idea over here okay so you also need to install this langchain open ai right and then you need to set your open ai api key over here and uh, then what is done over here is that um, you are creating a chat prompt template a string output parser and from uh, langchain open ai you are importing chat open ai and here you are creating a prompt prompt is your assistant tasked with summarizing a tables and text give a concise summary of the table or text table or text chunk that is the element which you are going to send right this is a prompt which uh, chat uh, prompt template takes this prompt text and it creates a prompt the model here is gpt4 okay and then summarize chain so this is basically you are creating a summarize chain which is that for every element uh, this is the prompt this is the model and get the string output so this is the summarize chain okay now here what you are doing is that you are applying this summarize chain to the tables so basically you are creating table summaries over here okay then you are creating 
text summaries over here. Now that your text summaries and table summaries are created, these needs to be stored in a vector database. Okay, for which you need this chroma DB. And then you will use multi-vector retriever with summaries to create an in-memory store to store the raw text and tables. And vector store stores the embedded summaries. That is the idea over here. Okay. So here you are creating that vector store as well as uh, you know the in-memory store which is for the parent documents. Right. Uh, here you are creating the retriever. Okay. Then you are adding the text. Okay. And the embedded uh, summary of the tables as well as the text summaries are also added over here. Okay. So to the retriever, you are adding the text over here. Okay. Summary text. You are also adding the summary tables in the vector store. Okay. That is the idea over here. Right. Now you can create a rad pipeline again using this, uh, you know, uh, chain over here using the chain expression language of lang chain. So here the template is answer the question based only on the following context, which can include text and tables. There is a context, there is a question. Okay. So here is the prompt which has been created and the model is again GPT-4 over here. And here you are creating your retrieval augmented pipeline where the context is retriever. Question is runnable pass through. That is how you are creating it over here. And the prompt uh, is this prompt model and from the output from the model, you are doing the parsing the string okay so in this way you have created this rag chain over here okay now what you are doing is that you are invoking the chain so i asked a particular question like what is the performance of gemini ultra performance on the uh, you know it's actually wrong over here performance performance one performance is enough okay what is the performance of gemini ultra on the mmu benchmark per discipline as per table 8 Okay, why did I put as per table 8? So when I tried it for the first time, it did not really work. Okay, it was actually present in this table, uh, you know, table 8. So I wanted these numbers, but it did not work. Then I explicitly specified a table 8. And I wanted the performance of Gemini on, you know, this benchmark based on each category. So I wanted these numbers to be pulled out. That was the idea. And it actually pulled out saying that the performance of Gemini Ultra on the MMU benchmark per discipline as per table 8 is as follows. And it pulls these numbers. Okay. Quite accurately, uh, you know, it pulls these numbers from the uh, particular table. Okay. Then I said, give an overview of the Gemini 1.0 model family. Right. So basically, I wanted to extract that from, you know, this table. But the text is also present in other places. So it actually gave me a summary which may or may not have been pulled from this particular table because this is directly text, right? Um, so basically what is ultra, what is pro and nano, that is what I wanted to pull. So it says that multi models, by, it kind of creates a summary over here and says that the models are evaluated, may not be pulled from the table unless you look back at the trace or something. But then I again wanted to see if it works on tables. So I asked like, what are the results of automatic speech recognition tasks on YouTube? So here, if you go to uh, this particular, uh, you know, table over here, I didn't specify the explicit table over here. I just asked this question whereby I wanted to uh, evaluate audio, this thing, understanding. Uh, basically, I wanted to evaluate on this particular this thing, right? Uh, I wanted to extract you know, this information, right? What is the performance of Gemini on this automatic speech recognition on YouTube? Because I couldn't find that in this paper in other places, exactly these numbers. It was present in this table and it is kind of summarized. Um, so that was the idea. So it kind of pulled it saying that the result of automatic speech recognition tasks on YouTube as, uh, as follows. Gemini Pro had a word error rate of 4.9. Nano had a word thing, whisper had, okay. So it is actually basically pull that line from the table. Okay. And exactly it is given that answer. Okay. So this is a code for how you can do semi-structured uh, retrieval augmented uh, generation with uh, Langchain. Okay. And OpenAI GPT-4. In Langchain, the concepts used are the multi-vector retriever and the Langchain expression language. Okay. Uh, and uh, making use of unstructured IO library to parse your uh, PDF documents. 
okay the pdf documents are a mix of structured and unstructured data uh, so this is a notebook uh, using which you can improve your retrieval augmented generation on semi structured data okay there was a cost involved in using open ai if you look at the cost uh, you know for to index this document the embedding cost is very less but the gpt4 cost over here is close to you know around uh, 2 dollars okay for running a couple of uh, queries over here along with all the summary generation of your structured as well as unstructured tables okay uh, so for running this notebook it cost me close to two dollars over here so there is a cost associated with uh, say gpd4 over here i hope you like this particular uh, video on this uh, you know uh, unstructured data or semi structured data retrieval augmented generation uh, if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be sharing this um, notebook along with all the relevant links in the description of the video do check out see you in another video